well, who wants to talk about hip hop? But you hear jazz discussions, and when the jazz discussions all of a sudden just started to dissipate, and the lack of black folks were involved in that discussion, mm -hmm. then all of a sudden jazz only became, you know, you know, maybe in the Kenny G world or mm -hmm. Pat Metini world, which mm -hmm. is no disrespect to them, but right. you know, we'd be like, what the hell? What is jazz? And after a while, nobody can't tell you, especially nobody of color can mm -hmm. tell you what it is. So right. it's essential that these discussions take place. And and anybody that's out there in the listening audience listening to this show, you know, hit, hit us up email wise and you don't stop radio show at gmail dot com and that's that was set up and you know and believe me um we in 2010 it's really going we're going to turn the screws on a lot of this and it just won't just stop at the station we're going to send it around it's already across the web and it's going to be everything around you uh, satellite interviews with such great people that are out there in the world and somebody always has something to say um with about uh less than 10 minutes because we extended this into a 40-minute segment mm -hmm. uh, of the Spit Your Mind. Great segment. segment. I'm digging it. Well, it was the first one. We'll yeah. get better. Somebody, I <laughs> bet you somebody on the other end of the radio just hating. Why are y'all talking so much? much? Why are you talking? Yeah, yeah. Well, just turn on to something that, that just throws music at you. And because we ain't judged on how many, you know, Arbitron points. Because I don't never know. I don't know what the hell that means anyway. But anyway, um, when it comes down to, to the Hip Hop Nation, uh, um, you know, this, the topics of what promotes, let's go back to the records thing, Juice. Records, like, other day I went into the gas station. Mm -hmm. I go into the gas station and, and right at the register is, I think, you know, um, this brother from another country, right? But, you know, next to the cash register was like 25 mixed CDs. Now, personally, I can't stand mixtapes. People call them mixtapes. It was the last time something was taped. The only thing taped is somebody, some athlete's ankle, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? So I'm looking at all these CDs, and so I remember one time that the companies were just trying to shut any kind of infringement down. Mm -hmm. Now they're like saying, well, this is the only thing that's promoted. What's your, what's your take? Everybody's take on mixed CDs because I hate them because they done so sloppy. I think the market is oversaturated. Anyway, everybody in the mother's got a mixed CD. You know, the DJ's going to hate you. Well, I mean, I'm not dissing them, but I think it's just everybody in the mother's got one. It's, it's, and you know, well, what I can't stand about radio and maybe even the mixed mix CDs is like, all right, I think they identify it, but I mean, I want to hear somebody break a damn song down. You know, mm -hmm. but if they just throwing music, nobody wants, any, even if they throw in, somebody's throwing money at you, mm -hmm. you, I mean, it gets to a point that's kind of disrespectful. So throwing the music at, at you, is it a way that it can grow if it's just hurled at you? Uh, what survives out of that uh, blizzard? I'm lost, but that's my personal opinion. You know, and me being a moderator for this, for this panel, maybe I shouldn't be spewing my personal opinion since the beginning of the show I gave a, a, a monologue and I'm giving an epilogue and maybe so a commentary. Good. So I'm <laughs> saturated with Chuck D on the first shows here. But anyway, uh, mixed CDs, am I actually going off topic? Because, no. you know, you ask somebody to say, hey, a topic to me means, you know, the death of auto-tune. And I uh, kind of uh, want to uh, say, like, what the hell does that mean? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, keep in mind, um, I was at a... Yeah, just fill up the dead air, because I... I'll, I'll let you know, need, I'll, I'll let no you know right air. now, really, man. Mm -hmm. Me, Steve and I, and I think, Marty, you were there, too. Uh, we went to a, one of Just Those... The last mixtape was the Just Those. Mixtape was Just Those, yes. Yeah, right, right before Just Those passed. Uh, that was the year you know, before he passed. The year before he passed, uh -huh. right. And um, DJ Premier was supposed to give an award with, with Guru, and he gets on stage, and he goes, you know what? None of you expletive... Mm -hmm. Cats are DJs, and mm. everybody just like what? And he goes, yeah, none of y'all DJs, none of you break records. Mm. You're playing the same records mm, with deep. some dude giving a, a feature. <clears throat> the same five cats you try to pay to get a feature. He goes, what are you doing to elevate your art form? You're not DJs. He goes, you're parasites. Mm -hmm. And he and right after that, you know, uh, Casey went on stage and smacked another DJ, and that yeah, was the end of the world. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, but but you know. I, you know, unfortunately, what did I tell you, Steve, about that phone? That's right. He, he's got, he's got, he's got, what, 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 what tone? What tune? What tone was that? That's <laughs> not what I know. <laughs> Steve, <laughs> Steve got his son's <laughs> auto. <laughs> oh, he got his son's <laughs> ringtone on it. But anyway, um, yeah. So as you were saying, Juice. Yeah. So you know, the thing is, you know, if, if a mix, if somebody's gonna do a mix tape or whatever, and I remember, remember Black, um, uh, Brand New and did punks jump up to get beat down? Right. Yeah. That was about people bootlegging their records. Mm -hmm. So now, basically, the mixtape. 
industry or mixed CD industry is nothing but a big bootleg industry mm -hmm. or a fake album industry. I mean, I, I don't have nothing against the. I don't have nothing I don't against have nothing the against fact that they're taking songs and well, first of promoting all, them for free or whatever. That's whatever. But my thing but is, you're like, not a DJ. It's sloppy. Uh, uh, you're, you're, first of all, you're playing records back to back. You're not yeah, physically it's DJing. Sloppy. So I'm not seeing any skill. Yeah, Basically, no and they I don't can, even I mix do, them either. I can do that yeah, same thing by going on iTunes and downloading the songs I like. So somebody young, somebody younger, will come along and say, "Y'all don't know what y'all." Y'all, you just not feeling what it is today. As simple as that. No, yeah. we know what sloppiness is. Like, mm -hmm. dude, it's like come up with some kind of craft, but at the same time, has the notion of getting paid just overridden every single thing when it comes down oh, to yeah, just the basically. quality. That's yeah, what yeah, I feel. Yeah, three of us sitting here uh, did mixtapes together. Yeah, we Wild did. Man and Steve and myself with DJ Johnny, Johnny Juice, Juice mixing them. Yeah, and what we, we did, yeah, mixed we tapes. mixed tapes. <laughs> but our intention uh, they was, was on cassettes to bring too. <laughs> underground artists. Right. We had discussions in between Juice actually mixed. And then we went overseas and sold them. And they sold immediately because it was something new. It was something. You had to carry one of them. Carry, carry those tapes with you. Oh yeah, pack them in my luggage. Yeah, back and, in the day, and, they, they, and, wouldn't, they wouldn't uh, <laughs> uh, consider it contraband or, or terrorist right, propaganda. Right. Yeah, mm -hmm. Carry it in my luggage and up and down the metro in Paris and in and out of the um, the record stores. But people were, were receptive because it was new music, underground music, and it was it was made from the heart. It was to promote hip hop internationally. It mm -hmm. wasn't about a kickback because no one made any money off. It didn't cover hotel or airfare, but it was done strictly for the love of it. And it goes back to over in Europe and other parts of the world, they have a greater appreciation yeah. mm -hmm. for the music and always did. wanted to have discussions Historical. about the people who were on the mixtapes. Mm -hmm. And versus our kids here, you go to 125th Street, there will be no discussion on what's care. on. No. But, but they do yeah. care. I think young people do care. I think the jocks and I think the there's always a great story next to a song because if the lyrics just took the time to try to put something together uh -huh. shouldn't the person trying to interpret that get try to get that across without trying to figure out well they're not going to respond to it anyway so why should I do it we got about a couple minutes left in, in this extended segment of Spit Your Mind and you don't stop radio show at gmail.com make sure you send us our suggestions ideas or whatever you can spit your mind on an email tip you know and